Hi everyone, Kurt is from The Pitch Control here and today I'm going to do another one of my record collection videos for you guys. There is a few things different this time. The first thing is that I'm in my bedroom. The second thing is that I've bought something and I've been meaning to buy it for ages. And the reason I haven't been doing these videos so often is because when I was in the other room it was super super echoey and I thought it was time I buy a mic. Normally I record through this mic on the camera but it's really, really crap. So we're gonna switch the mic on guys. I really, really hope you like it and the mic's on. Tell me what you think about it. I'm really, really happy I got it. I'm really, really loving the sound. It's a little bit different to obviously the camera. Well, it's massively different to the camera. I'm really, really happy with it. So I hope you like it too. I'm gonna go straight onto the records. First up, we've got Black Flag. This is damaged and this record is damaged. It's absolutely terrible. Massive dent here and it's all like battered up. The original photo here is obviously like Henry Rollins punching a mirror on this part of his hand, which I never really noticed before. He's got a little bit of blood. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. I never noticed it personally before, but someone said that they broke the mirror with a hammer first and then they put like red ink and coffee onto his fist. So there's a pretty good fact for you there about Black Flag's damaged cover. It's one of those amazing punk records that just paved the way for so many new people to come in and just put their own little twist on that original sort of hardcore punk sound. These guys are one of the first, obviously, along with like Minor Fret and Bad Brains and all of those amazing bands that came out in the American hardcore era. On the back here, you've got another little bit of artwork work same sort of thing I guess it's the same broken mirror then you got like the classic black flag logo this side's in red this is not my favorite album my black flag my war is my favorite but this is actually a really shitty repress and it got damaged when I moved to Berlin so it's not like the best record I own and it's not an original but it has got some of my favorite black flag tracks on it six pack it's got TV party which I really really love a really really fun punk track and it's also got depression what else has got on there oh yeah spray paint and rise above of course like rise above is such a banger I've never say banger I don't know why I said that. It's on black. Like I said, it's just like a shitty repress and stuff. I guess it's just like those traditional American hardcore punk sounds. Moving on, the next record we got is Black Marble, a different arrangement, static on the front with like the bar up the top here. I never really heard of Black Marble before I came to Berlin. This is one of those bands which I discovered. And also I wasn't really into sort of that dark wave stuff before I came into Berlin. My wife introduced me to a lot of new bands. She introduced me to Cold Cave and also to John Miles and to Black Marble as well. But Black Marble are one of those sort of dark wave synthia acts with synthetic drums. They come from Brooklyn, New York. They play this really sort of anesthetic, really low and distant dark wave. They do have a very sort of deep and tonal vocal and some of their songs do have bass as well. On the back here, you've got sort of like this really Tumblr <laughs> Tumblr image on the back here of like Galaxy and stuff. Really, really nice font. My favorite track from this album is definitely got to be, actually, I don't know, I can't really decide. A Different Arrangement's amazing, obviously the title track. Cool Summer, UK is probably actually my favorite. Amazing track, really sort of like melancholic sounding. A lot of dark wave bands are really, really dark and really distant, sort of really cold sounding. These are very cold too, but it's a little bit more like melancholic. And for anyone that doesn't know Black Marble, if you're into Cold Cave, like I said, or John Miles, I guess they're more towards the John Miles stuff because they're a little bit more lo-fi and a little bit more distant and anesthetic and very tinny. Definitely go and give them a chance. They're a really, really great record. One of my favorite records from that sort of genre. The next record we got is Black Math and this is Phantom Power. I don't know if you guys have heard of Black Math before. I hadn't heard of them also before I came to Berlin. Like I said, I've discovered this style of music since I came here. But I actually bought this one from Bissalf Messer. Gave it a listen on the turntable in the shop and we really, really loved it. Sort of like Joy Division style stuff, I guess. They are a two piece as well. Really nice vocal on there as well. On the inside, you've got this little bit of paper here, sort of just like a printout, Xerox printout with some information about the band. Black sleeve here with black vinyl and a picture of a cat. But yeah, good dark wave record. And I would recommend it. I mean, like it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. Yeah, that was Black Math. Okay, so next up, we've got a band which I absolutely adore. And I did talk about them in my questions and answers video, which you can watch right here. That was me talking about seeing them live. And I have seen them in their original lineup as well. I have seen them also at OzFest where I saw them with their original lineup. And if you haven't guessed who they are, it is Black Sabbath. One of the most influential bands of the entire heavy metal scene. Every Every single band that I really, really love is either a slowed down version or a sped up version of Black Sabbath. And that quote I got from one of my best friends, Dean, it really clicked and it made me think about it a lot. And a lot of bands that I really, really love are slowed down or sped up versions of this band. This is one of their most recent records. This is 13. And I wasn't really like 
massively hyped about it it's not the best record they've done obviously i really like it because it was their first record back with ozzy since the huge gap where they had like the do years but it's really lovely to see them all come back together this record wasn't amazing it was good but it wasn't amazing it's got some really really great tracks on there like god is dead and what else has it got on there zeitgeist is cool when i listen to this album it just reminds me of all their other albums you know what i mean like you can pick a track from this album and then you can pretty much match it up to a song that they've done like 40 years ago that's my feeling on it anyway it's a really beautiful record it's got really nice glossy paper do love that it's printed on the dust sleeves that's something that i'm really into i'm not sure if i mentioned that in previous videos but i really like it when people print onto the dust sleeves it's not my favorite record by black sabbath but it's a very very good one the next one we've got is masters of reality now this is one of my favorites one of my favorites not my favorite but this is a weird pressing. We got this also from Flea Market. The girl behind the stall just said to us, oh yeah, just give us a couple of euros for it. And we were really shocked because we were looking at it and we looked it up on our phones on Discogs and we realized this is a pretty sick pressing. Really weird. It's not in purple, it's in pink. Really, really beautiful. This record has got Sweet Leaf on it as well and Into the Void, which are like two of my favorite Black Sabbath tracks. And it's not even that beaten up. Like normally when you find like Black Sabbath records at a flea market or a secondhand store, they're really messed up. And I have got some messed up Black Sabbath records. Definitely one I'll be hanging on to. We've also got another one, which is embossed. Got really nice embossment. Is embossment a word? Probably not. Nah, embossment's definitely not a word. Tons and tons of bands have ripped off this record cover. One of my favorites being the Electric Wizard, Legalized Drugs and Murder. That's a really funny front cover where they ripped off this and many, many bands have done it as well. I think Church of Misery did it as well. It's a classic record and I really love it. It's not an original, but good pressing. Next up, we've got Black Sabbath and this is volume four. I just can't begin to describe how good this album is. And I'm so happy I managed to get the Vertigo version of this. It's a gatefold and it's got some really beautiful pictures of Tony Iommi on the inside here. I'm gonna flip that back. Obviously you can see like it's pretty messed up, like pretty beaten up. It's such a classic front cover and I really wanna get this tattooed on me sometime. I really love this. And pretty much every single stoner doom band have ripped off this front cover. One being Sleet, I'll put that there for you. And one being Church of Misery, again, they ripped off this. And I'm sure so many bands have ripped off this. I think even my friend's band ripped this off. Everyone should go and listen to that. It's like a cover album of Black Sabbath. But yeah, this is brilliant. I mean like Snowblind being one of my favorite tracks as well by Black Sabbath. Next up, we've got one of the, I guess, like another album which everyone will know by Black Sabbath. This is Paranoid. I love this record so much and I'm just so happy I've got it and especially that I've got it on Vertigo even though it's not in great quality because this version comes as a gatefold and it's such a beautiful picture on the inside. I love that it's in pink as well like those guys looking really badass and in black and white and then it's just written in pink on the side. It's pretty cool. So many good songs on it. Electro Funeral, War Pigs, Paranoid, Iron Man, Hand of Doom, like every single song on this album is absolutely incredible. I love this record so much. I don't know what more I can say about it. And the next record, this is one of the records that is in my top 10 and always has been since the first time I listened to it. This is Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. This is it guys, like nothing beats this. Every single band that I really, really love that plays Stoner Doom, like Sun and Church of Misery, Sleep, Thou, all of these bands are copying this record. They all worship this record and they all just wanna be as good as this. And it was written in the 70s, which is absolutely insane. The original comes on a gatefold, you open it up and it's black and it's got an upside down silver cross on it. Ozzy's vocals and Iomi's guitar playing is just the most beautiful thing that fits so well together, but yeah. That's in my top 10 of all time, Black Sabbath. That's it guys, I'm gonna leave it at that because my battery's gonna run out on my camera. We're getting into the Bs now, so I'm gonna follow on next time with the B records. We got like Blank Dogs and loads of other stuff coming up. Yeah, like I said, comment below if you like the microphone. Comment below if you like these records that I showed you. If you've got any more information you wanna give me about new bands that I might like based on these records, comment below as well. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are well. Look after each other and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Say cheers. Shalom morning.